Hey, how you doing? Good, you? Good, good. Do you drive a car? I do. Do you? Why are you opposed to oil and gas production? I'm not opposed to oil and gas production. What I'm opposed to is fracture mining, which is horrible for the environment, and I don't want to be able to light my water on fire. How do you know it's horrible for the environment? Because it's been done elsewhere, and the communities surrounding those places Check have upstate, suffered greatly. Pennsylvania and upstate New York. Yeah? Yeah, check out the movie Gasland. Doesn't everything have its uh, price? I mean, what's you drive a car. What's that... more valuable? Our, our natural resources here, such as water, do you want our water air, in the quality, that's a... or, it or is it our economy? millions of gallons of water to frack. Do you know how... We need that water here in Colorado Springs. The... Millions of gallons of water for one fracking, just one time. How are you going to drive your car if we don't have oil and gas? Well, how are you supposing that fracture mining for natural gas is going to help us run our vehicles? Well, That's no, but it, do you heat your house? Do you heat your house? Petroleum. Do you heat your house? Yeah, sure. How are you going to heat your house if we don't have... New we, are, we already heat our houses with natural gas. Right? Solar and wind, really? The you don't have water, you won't need a house. Time and again, that, they cannot, that they're not responsible for the environment. They are responsible for... You really going to drive around and heat your house with solar and wind? Yeah. Uh, I will drive a horse and carriage if that's what it is. Is that what you do now? I wish. Hey, tell me, tell me one thing. A answer me a question. How are you going to uh, drink oil? How are you going to drink uh, gas to when all of our natural resources are polluted oh, from, from flawed... Mining techniques. Oh, I'm just curious. You drive around in a car with uh, fuel that you your bring. Point. I'm no, I'm asking a question. Now. That's a different point. Uh, no. You drive around in a car with uh, fuel from foreign, All right. from foreign I'm countries. I'm interview now. No, I, listen. I just want to know. Are you? Uh, you think it should just go on somewhere else, but not in your own, not on, not on your territory? Is that right? Enjoy yourself. Okay, you too. I'm just asking questions. I'm curious. Right. Well, you're very pointed. Because you drive a car. Question. Very pointed with your questions. Well, and I'm, just, I'm asking you to move on now. Well, I'm not going to move on. I'm standing on a public sidewalk, but thank you very much. Do you drive a car? Huh? Do you drive a car? Well, does it use oil and gas? Yes, it does. It does? Yep. So why don't you want to drill for oil and gas? Uh, somebody want me to clarify. It's not subject to federal it's laws. It's understanding that because we poison our water and our air. Okay. So do you want to stop driving? I would love to stop driving, but we don't have any, any public transportation system here. From okay. Where I live to be down here, it take two hours. <coughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Now the vote that was scheduled today. Well, because all of the all of the outcomes, even though they have expressed you know, that they might vote no or you know or want to postpone this, they are all said that they were for fracking. So that's that's not really in keeping with what the rest of the country is. Certainly, That's people in the country are rising up about. I mean, they, we have nations in the world who are um, prohibiting fracking. We have states, and, and so we have communities all over the country, and this is one of them. Where do you think we should get oil and gas to heat homes and drive cars around? Uh, you know, alternative energy, that's exactly what, what, what we're after. Can you drive your car with a windmill? Or? We're, doing a, we're in the middle of an interview. Yeah, I'm working too. I'm working and I'm in public and I'm just asking some questions. I work for myself. Yeah, no fracking! No fracking! No fracking! No fracking! Well, we, we hope so. I mean, but we have to invite all voices. You know, this is about everybody opposed to it. So when we invite all voices, we're not really afraid of, it, of, of any, any of the voices because fracking is so evil, everybody can recognize that. So, you know, this is what this is all about. This is a, a fight we can't lose. I mean, we must not lose it, but we can't lose it. Fracking is so horrible. So obviously, in the world, the people here they ignore the Evan Burger. But they're out of pit with the community. Well, 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 so far, the only person who disagreed is, is this representative from the Gazette who actually represents the oil industry. That's the only person. That's the only person in the world who disagrees with okay, your position. So, well, the, the group here, will, will they be yeah. in the meeting? 
Why do you gotta be a prick? We'll, Let him finish well, no, up the we'll, interview. We'll, we'll be participating in a meeting to be, um, to be uh, uh, expressing their voices and hoping that the councils will, get, will hear them. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It, there is a possibility that council might not take public comment because they're postponing the vote. What well, well, no, but the public that? comment is always open. It's open well, to everybody. The first part of the comment, you know, they might say that they're not going to have a discussion on fracking, but that doesn't mean that they can stop the, the, the public from commenting in the initial period. And so it's going to be a matter of whether people feel it's necessary, whether Hello. there's something Hey, thanks for coming out today. I'm Steve with Green Cities Coalition, which is an umbrella organization for sustainability. We oppose fracking. And I just want to say that fracking is on the run. You notice in the news, everywhere they frack, people are rejecting it. It's not like it's not like people are going, that was sweet, let's do some more. Everywhere they frack, the communities are left suing, trying to get legislation passed to stop it. It's not something that people like when they look back in retrospect. So we have a chance to cut it off before we regret it. Where should we get oil and gas? Where from? From when? No. We don't need oil and gas. We can't bur no. we can't keep burning oil and gas. We what want wind. Things? We want solar. Well, what you were criticizing the, the owner of the Gazette, and he has windmills. Has to be. Well, that's good. That's okay. good. But you know, oh, no, Owner Baron's going to do whatever he has to. But we need to have more windmills. The oil companies sued the county because they wanted to regulate. Can you drive your car that way? Wind. Fracking kills the land. Fracking kills the land. Fracking kills the land. Fracking kills the land. Somewhere else. Because fracking is not the way to do it. Ask every community. They have smog in Wyoming. Why is that? Fracking, that's why. Somewhere else, the Middle East? The EPA goes in and tells the Indians of Wyoming to put fracking kills the land. Fracking kills the land. Fracking kills the land. Fracking kills the land. Thank you. Are you available for a camera interview? Uh, hold on a minute. What did you want to talk about? Just kind of why you decided to come here today, why it's important to spread your thoughts on this message. Sure. All right, let me mic you up real quick. You will have to put the camera down if we're going to... Oh, I can't, can't, I can't oh, videotape no. you videotaping me? You could, but it'll look weird if you have it right like. Okay. Well, how about... Okay. I'll just have to wake you up. Here. We'll do that. Okay. Wait a second. Sorry about that. Did not uh, want to interrupt your interview. I just was just kind of mayhem out here. Do you have a pocket? Or do you just want to? Uh, I don't want to. Yeah, put it in there. <laughs> Is this okay. Okay. Are we? Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Sorry, guys, I'm so cold. Can I have you say and spell your name, please? My name is Wayne, W-A-Y-N-E, Logason, L-A-U-G-E-S-E-N. What title can I use for you? Just, I'm just Wayne. Just Wayne, but yeah. like anti-protester? No, no, I'm just, a, I was just driving by and I found this to be very interesting, so I stopped to ask some questions. Are you pro-fracking or don't have a, a preference right now? I'm pro-fracking unless there's compelling reason to believe that it's going to do something awful to our water supply or to the environment. Do you feel that's not the case? I do feel that's not the case. Nobody's proved otherwise, to my satisfaction. So talk to me about why it's important for you to come and talk to these protesters. Well, they're making some claims out here that I don't think they can back up. I also question how they got here, how they heat their homes, how they get around. And I've been asking them those questions, and they tend to drive cars, live in homes that are heated by fossil fuels. And when I ask them what they, where they would like to get their fuel so they can continue driving cars and living in heated homes, I hear about windmills and uh, solar, and that's great, but I haven't seen a car yet that drives around on solar, although we do have electric cars. Uh, is, we don't have enough solar capacity yet to do that. So uh, 
my other question for them is where would you like us to get the oil and gas that we use and generally the answer is Second, let sure. me just finish the interview okay. and then you guys can have a, your. Well, I, I would like to say it so you can hear it too. We definitely I happen to, to know the answer to his question. The answer to his questions is that scientists have studied this question, and in 30 to 40 years, we could be completely free of fossil fuels using things like solar and wind and wave action in the ocean and uh, other related renewable energy sources. So, so will you stop driving is, for 30 to 40 not, years? Now let me talk. Uh, so this is, the Rocky Mountain Institute has written a book about it. Uh, there's other scientists that have done studies of this. Why aren't we hearing about these in, instead of ruining uh, large portions of Colorado and the rest of the nation? What's your okay. name, sir? Lotus, and I'm a spokesperson for Colorado Springs Citizens for community rights. And we're we're calling for three things today out here. We're calling for a moratorium, another moratorium. We're calling for a open hearing on this subject, the fact-finding hearing, which is open to the public, never happened before on this subject in this town, and it should have. And we're also calling for a ban because there's no way to regulate an industry like this that is exempt from the federal clean air standards, water standards, drinking water standards. I mean, why, if they're so clean, why are they exempt? Are you telling me it's an unregulated industry? It is. No, largely, it's not. Mostly unregulated. No, that's not true. And the it's, industry, uh, let me tell you another thing. The Colorado has the most strict regulations well, on fracking in the United that's States. That's bullshit. Guys, that, we can't air it if we're talking for each other. Well, so. I think we're Fair enough. Well, what, what he's what, what he's saying <laughs> what he's saying is one of the things that the industry has been saying all along. The, the industry is saying that. I think they're that, having like a press conference now. Oh, yes. Sorry. Okay. All right. Thank uh, you. Let me take that mic from oh, you. Oh, sure. And real yeah. quick. Um, do you work for the Gazette or not? Well, I'm not here in that capacity. I am just driving by, and yeah. and I stopped. But are you yeah. a reporter or columnist? No, I write editorials, 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 editorials for the Gazette. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, all right. Thank you. Very good. Time. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Crazy, you. Oh yeah, yeah. Very. I, I, and I know you guys have a hard job to do out here. So, uh, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for your interest. Okay, we'll see you later. Out of touch with the community. They're out of touch with the community. 